Hey everybody, we're going to do an update. So here's my garden I got going on. Just about four by eight foot garden. Plenty of lettuce. I got some uh, spinach over there. I kind of uh, let it go pretty big. I kind of like the texture of it and everything when it's big like that. Got some uh, cabbage and broccoli. Not really noticing anything on my broccoli just yet. Some onions, and I'm working on potting up all my tomatoes. They're about five, six weeks old. Not really much to them yet, but we've had a lot of cloud cast days and cool weather and stuff. And so, the reason why I'm putting them all in pots is because. We're going to actually be moving. I'm not sure when exactly. Probably. We're hoping like mid-June. So. A little over a month from now. I'm going to go out to 8 acres. Set everything up completely differently. With the chickens and everything. As you can hear them out here. So, I had, what, 13 Cornish Crosses come in in the February. And I had lost one to a hawk, so I had to come out here. And it might be hard to see, but I got fishing line all over the place out here now. And then I got... The white ones are uh, Americanas, and then I got an Easter egg there. It's got the orange and browns. This is my Cornish cross I got left, one hen. She's, uh, what? I don't I can't even think right now. Probably close to 12 weeks old. This big guy that I got from the neighbors, he's gonna go before we move. Tell he's kind of walking weird. His foot's all swollen up, so he's gonna go. I don't do it this weekend. I'm getting a week off from work here pretty soon, so I might just butcher then. Here's the quell. I got a little litter box, and I put wood shavings in there. And they give themselves ducks, baths, and everything. Got one right. I can't. Okay, there's my hand right there. She's kind of a little dark one. She, uh, the other day, I pit was using a nylon cord to uh, keep this shut, and it was getting all frayed, so I decided I was going to put something else on here. Well, I walked. Opened it up and uh, took care of them and kind of, I shut it, but I didn't tie it shut because I didn't have anything on it yet. Come back and she's dangling over the sides, got her foot caught. I'm trying to figure out if I'm just going to get rid of her because that foot's dead. I feel sorry for her. I don't really want to get rid of my hens, but... That or I chop it off and bandage her up and call her Stumpy. That's my Easter Egger named Possum. She was in with the others, but she, she kind of got out yesterday. over here my two Rhode Island Reds boys they were being pain some of the girls like my barred rock hen where's she at she's out there someplace they were keeping her basically inside the uh, coop for the last couple months 
So I got them locked up. Every time she walks out, they're right on top of her. Terrorizing her. <coughs> this is Princess. I've been giving them a lot of grass. Try to cut back on how much pellets I use. When we move, I'm gonna try to see if I can switch them to a natural diet and get off the pellets. And she's got some babies in here that are about two weeks old. Get one out. She had six, but we lost two. They don't have their eyes open just yet. They're starting to. Oh, this one did. It's my first batch to actually survive. I've had five litters so far. That's only halfway successful one. I had another one that was born at the same time by Layla over here, but the way I had the nest box set up, it, I think it got too much wind. When they were born, it was about 85 degrees, and then a couple days later, it went down to freezing, and she had actually took out a lot of the nesting material that I gave her, and ate it or pushed it out of the, the cage. So I, I think they just, they got too cold and died. Right here's my buck. And oh, one more thing over here. Here's when I originally got my uh, uh, corns crossed as I <coughs> had lost like half my order. So they sent me a replacement. I got three leg horns, three Easter eggers, and nine corns crosses in here. And they're, I've had them for a week now. That's pretty much it, what I got going on around here. These guys are laying. Here's what I've gotten today so far. Here's the eggs I get. Here's ones from uh, my lichen builders. They're kind of a medium egg. And here's a normal egg. So, kind of like pretty small. They say it takes three or four quail eggs to equal one chicken egg. But I think one quail egg has more protein than that chicken egg. So, and I am getting turkey eggs. I don't know if I got any today. We'll go look real quick. She's kind of going broody on me. It's kind of weird. <laughs> She likes to lay her eggs down here underneath my brooder. And no, I don't see any. There's Fluffy Butt. <laughs> Wee Man's happy with the other boys all locked up. He's the man. Of course, he's small, so the big girls like to chase him off when he tries to hop on them. They're like, no, you're not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.